intro because I've been wanting to do this video on this article for a couple of days now, but I am so pissed and jealous. Let me just uh, flash up these beautiful pictures. Look at it. Basket it. Now I know a lot of people over time have probably tried to question man is she actually into tentacles or is this just a marketing strategy or is this just a publicity stunt and in all seriousness no there is no way that i can actually prove it to you without having either one a community guideline strike or two may or may not damage my career however all i can tell you is the same story that i have told in many other videos is that yes i am into tentacle hentai and the story of it is pretty simple and short what i thought was going to be downloading as a death note episode turned out to actually just be one episode of bible Black and it turned out to be the tentacle scene. I'm not going to tell you guys which episode that was, but it's amazing. And I was just introduced to a whole new world and honestly, there is no way that I can show you guys of how I can prove that. But I digress, there's nothing that I can do about it. So just continuing on with the article, thank the Lord of all cephalopods that this exists. I have been waiting for some soul out there to finally do this. I'm just pissed that it wasn't me. But there is a Japanese woman named uh, Numeru Namada. That's what that's what her name is. She's a model, cosplayer, and food blogger. Where she wanted to focus the novel concept of showing human and octopus intertwined in a slippery embrace. I love the writing in this article. It's so clever and it's so funny. I've already read through it. You guys are gonna have a kick out of this. You can see Namada being wrapped up with tentacles of an 18 kilogram North Pacific giant octopus, which was caught in the waters of Hokkaido. The contrast of the colors of the live octopus, along with the shimmering slime, creates some really mysterious images. Images. Mysterious is probably not the adjective that I'm personally going for. I'm just gonna say that is... That is hot. Honestly, this woman has provided fan service for me at like a level 10. I don't think that she can bring it any further than that. Well, technically she could, but just having just these very artistic and erotic poses will do it just for me. I'm totally fine with this. You know what? I wonder what it must have been like when they caught that octopus in Hokkaido. I wonder if she had like this epiphany or that shining moment when you find like the love of your life. She just sees it swimming in the water and she's just like, that's the one. I want that on my body. I will be covered in slime. We're gonna do this. And now we're gonna get into their interview. Why did you put on such an exhibition? Namada replies, I really like tentacles and so I had always wanted to try being photographed with octopuses. You know, it's always kind of like a funny stereotype when you put like an Asian girl with tentacles because like the implications of the tentacles in anime or hentai is pretty obvious here. So it's always fun in games, but when you actually meet someone else that's real, and that actually legitimately likes tentacles. It's... It's so nice. The photographer then replies, I wanted to take on the challenge of showing off the real sliminess of octopus through photography. It was quite stimulating to make so many discoveries while doing it. Stimulating. I praise your artistic expression to trying to show the true sliminess and the beauty that is the tentacle. Embracing itself on the body of this beautiful Japanese woman and I couldn't ask for more. What was it like when you were actually going through with it? Namada then replies, when I was posing with the 18 kilogram live octopus, it was really difficult because it was so heavy. The photographer then replies that because it was alive, it would move around and because it was slippery, it was really hard to grab a hold of it. It was really hard to think of a composition while shooting photos. My first thought is what must have the octopus been thinking when it was embracing itself around this woman because I've seen mating season for like both squids and octopi and the best way I can explain it is imagine if you're eating a bowl of spaghetti and you start playing with your food and you get your fork around it. It looks a lot like that. You just see all these noodles embraced and you really don't know what which one goes where. You just know at the end of it it's just going to be delicious and going to be so nice. Uh... Shh. Namada says that the slime was really overpowering and when we changed cuts, I couldn't wash it off in the shower. It shot out ink too. It was like that for about a half a day of shooting. I don't understand why you wouldn't take pictures of that. That's something I would have wanted to see. In reality, the octopus and the squid shoot out ink as a way of being a defense mechanism. So unfortunately, the octopus found her as a threat and wasn't truly embracing her, which makes me sad. But the fact that he did shoot out ink, I wish I could have seen what that would have looked like. Oh my god. Aki, you got some problems. Shh. What happened to the octopus afterwards? 
Hmm. Well, there's a multitude of possibilities that they could have done with this octopus. They could have just kept it as a pet. They could have just saved it for more photo shoots, for more models. They could have just let it run wild and free. Well, not run, like squirm, swim. Sorry, I know that it swims. It's just like the way it moves looks like it's a little bit of both. So what did they do with the octopus? Well, the cameraman says, we ate it and it was delicious. Getting rid of the slime and boiling it was really difficult too. Namada then says, I discovered that wearing it on my head after boiling it looked really cute. You know, you had me going for the longest time and just to find out that you killed it and then you ate it. And oddly enough, that looks delicious. I imagine that once you're done after a long day of shooting with an octopus, it's been moving around, it's slimy, it shot ink at you, it was a really messy situation that you may or may not have enjoyed, and then you're finally clean, you're ready to eat, and you decide that why not eat the octopus that we caught. And once they're boiling it, and it's cooked, and it's ready to go, the first thing that Namada says is, you know what, homie? Maybe we're not done shooting. Let's put this thing on my head. I don't know, man. Maybe this is just me, but she does look kind of cute with that octopus on her head. You know, that's kind of one way to sort of marinate an octopus before you eat it. Have it just embrace your entire body. I wonder what it must have been like. If it Maybe it was just him and her that just ate it, but if they had guests, they probably would have been like, Oh man, this is delicious. What did you put in it? Oh, we just cooked and boiled it. We seasoned it a little bit, but before that, we actually had it embrace my my entire body. It then says, please give your final remarks. Yamamoto says it's best to do some thorough consulting before buying an octopus and having a photo shoot with it. And if you plan to do a photo shoot with octopus, having a lot of towels and body soap prepared is a must. Fair enough, it does sound like a pretty messy photo shoot. God damn it, I'm always the unlucky one. You see all these girls, they're getting lucky with all these tentacles. It's bull crap! And here I am in front of a camera just displaying my love for tentacles with a puppet of a tentacle. I'm sorry, babe, but you're not real. But yeah, anyways, I- <gasps> So I know that this video must be very strange given the title of this article and hearing me rant about it. I know that probably a good maybe 80 to 90% of you don't agree with anything that I've said here. And the reasoning for me making this article public is because I have nothing. It's just expected from me. So I appreciate you guys for watching, and even though this article doesn't fall under any of these two categories, subscribe to my channel for more anime and otaku-related content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! I'm so jealous!